Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so <laughs> this is was 7 or 8 I don't remember and oh boy this was great war I loved playing this war this was quite simple and I did like some great fights over here so my team is going to be Doom, Archangel and Quick so normally I take this team for a long time now and this is gonna be <laughs> a showcase of these champions again so I normally take these champions, Quake and all. Quake is almost for just one fight over here. I don't want to use her to any of the fights. Archangel is going to be one of the good champions just to take some of the fights for me. And let's go. First fight, it's going to be Elsa Bloodstone. It is just uh, I think so long distance relationship and that is it. The fight is done at the point when I put like one or two Nero's. We just need two Neros and the fight is simply done at that point so what are we gonna do is finish the fight go to the next fight it's going to be a human torch human torch is not that bigger issue for me because human torch is not bleed immune or not poison immune he's a heavy hitter I have to look that the power alternate is going to be one of the other issue so I have to like take finish my power before the power alternate comes up so what I'm gonna do is I like, put some heavies in just to get some neuros in so I like three neuro three heavies I did after that the neuro pops in okay I didn't heavy at this one so now I'm having on the neuros are in so that is good I, all thing that I need is just neuros so we have two neuros and he's melting at this point I went for an sp2 Oh sorry SP1 and he's near to an SP2 he's go for a heavy over here the heavy hitter comes out that unstoppable I'm gonna go one more heavy he's at SP2 but he didn't come like never stand up again so this was quite good fight so the next fight is going to be Doctor Doom the Doctor Doom is not that difficult for me at this point I don't have energy so I waited up and get the energy so we got our energy we get in and the fight is not that much difficult it's a power snack one the moment I that he nullifies my he gets some power it's going to be backup recovery and that is the most thing that I need to look over here I just looked at that I was thinking quick <coughs> would be like good option I have done this fight with quakes this is the, he's a stubborn I just need to get that heavy in but Dr. Doom hits so hard on parries also it's like one mm, thousand hit every point whenever he touches me so that is going to be bad so he was using suicides that's another thing Dr. Doom versus Dr. Doom not a difficult not <laughs> like I feel like okay I can do these fights because Dr. Doom is one of the great option so over here my auras expire I'm near to an sp3 he's near to an sp1 what I'm gonna do is push him to one more combo I pushed it but I was looking to his aura the aura didn't expire what's gonna happen the moment I start the fight my fury is gonna be nullified so no damage <laughs> the moment I need that great damage I don't have that damage so what I'm gonna do push into sp3 my sp1 i have a sp2 he has a sp3 sp1 sorry so i'm gonna steal power as much as i can but he throws in another sp1 so what i have to do is just wait till that aura expires but i go for another sp3 he was dying while using su like his sp1s and all sp2s sp1 whatever he used he's gonna die because he's using suicide masteries he was using that bleed one not a poison one so he was not at like good amount of power so I cannot get good amount of power back also I just use my sp1 for like fun <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> and he used another sp1 that was just came in play I blocked it all that was good I loved it <laughs> but we got like three hits again medium like medium I'm gonna go for another sp1 just to get some power back I wanna go for an sp2 at this point but I don't know why I don't go for it and oh I go for it <laughs> he didn't get any power back that was good I have another sp1 so I can go for sp1 get some power back get him under an sp1 so that was good 
Oh, that was under a speech, sorry. <laughs> so I just want him to use some of his special attacks at this point. And he uses one that was just came in play again. I was, I'm like 50% of my health now. What I have to do is go for another SP2. I wait it up, wait it up, again, 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 and go for it. Parry and go for it. I was not in aura. So my special attacks gonna give him special, like, some power back. We decks two of it. So not that a bigger deal for me. I don't have to worry at this point. The moment I have to worry is like when his aura is on and he goes to an SP2. That point I have to worry. Over there, Power Snack comes up. He go for an SP2 again. I go for a full combo. I was going to go for an SP2. If he don't die, he died. That's good. I can go for it. The so next fight, I didn't have energy. You can see it's like two minutes left still for like one energy. I took energy from a friend. From a teammate, what I have to do is to take a mix master. It's a new combination today because always I took it with like two and against is always a cog. The one time there was havoc, but my teammate had a six star rank three warlock. He took it, so not that a bigger deal. I want to take that havoc. I was thinking to go with like my five star warlock max out. I never put him to war and today war is still going on and we have the same team again because we have some fights suitable to them i was thinking to like change up some of these but i didn't that was good option i think okay so we get into the fight what you have to do is just get bleeds and poison up so that i can turn them into a neuro and don't do same combo again and again over here indestructible comes up because he's a stubborn character and I dex the end of an sp1 and now I will not dex any of it I'll just take it on my block I don't care I dexed it but there was no pop up of stubborn because Archangel uh, Nero is gonna be finishing them off the ability accuracy reduction is way good I go for another SP1. He's almost dead, you can see. We're like one minute into the fight and he's dead. Still like 15 seconds were left and he was dead. So we have to just wait up till the time he dies to himself. I just put a medium. I'm gonna go one more medium. Oh, I took a heavy. I didn't even that I was gonna take a heavy. I go for an SP1 to counter it. I put like one Nero onto him. That was good. I just have to get like one more heavy in. I could have a heavy countered him, but I didn't. I go for a medium because my medium can turn the poison into a neuro. That is good. And we go for it. He didn't evade. You can see. I end the combo with medium. And I went in with the medium. He didn't evade because of my neuros. So Archangel is a way good option for this fight. And the champion should be suitable <laughs> for the, him. So uh, if there's like no Korg and all, I could have just done this fight easily. It is EMP modification domino undupe. Way good. I can quake, but I'm not that much good at quaking him. So what I have to do is go for the Archangel. But my Archangel didn't work properly. Let's see how that works. So you saw the rest of the fights wherever I use Archangel. I was getting poisoned like three parries or like four parries. I was getting poisoned because the moment I put a bleed, I get poisons. Three parries are in the fight. No poison. One poison. And only one neuro. No poison again. No poison again. What happens? He, she throws an SP1. I got one shock. One shock is not gonna deal that much amount of damage. I'm gonna go for an SP1. But that bird of might comes into the play. I go for another. And <laughs> no. Uh, what should I say? There's no poison coming up. No neuro is converting. I don't know what's happening with my archangel. <laughs> I have to go for an SP2 at this point just to create some space she's gonna go for an sp1 and that is going to be it i should have text that because the unlucky was off me mm, that was bad fight i could have just get it solo and didn't give any death but what happens i didn't so what we have to do is revive my arc engine i was thinking 
should I domino then I realized domino no because I have died on domino so many times that I cannot I cannot mm -hmm. take that so I don't want to give any more kills onto it I just want to go with Archangel again get three fatties in two neurals in the fight is done simply done because like I just need to get like two neurals almost she's at 50% of his health so what I'm gonna do is create some space go for a full combo and get a parry in we got a one bleed so let's see what happens this time he will work way good that poisons up we got two neuros and again the poisons up we got four neuros what happens the fight is done four neuros are like the end point <laughs> we finish the fight that could have worked at the first place I could have just easily done these fights not know what happens I just popped to that sunspot I don't know what for <laughs> so let's just go in <laughs> okay so this fight I will take it with quake that I remember yes because all of these champions have low health I don't want to go for any other champion and he don't get any armor up so we don't have to be worrying about that damage that gonna get up that bleed damage and all so what I'm gonna do is just quake it I don't want to do any other champion I just want to quake it quick is not that a difficult option like I can easily get it done with like a full yellow bar but I'm gonna take a parry or like a defense hit so that was going to be my 99 to like 98 percent of my health and that is simple that the fight is done so he is being up quite aggressive and I love aggressive opponents and if he was stunning me I would love that fight so much uh, I took a parry that I said yeah it's 90 hundred percent of my health Oh, no, it's not. It's 98, I think so. I don't remember. I cannot see it. I have lowered the resolution of this one. <laughs> so, he's almost to his half health. What I have to do is just get more and more aftershocks. Like two more aftershocks and the fight will be done. Because it one aftershock that I'm putting it, it's taking like 10 to 12 percent of his health. The more aftershock that I put in, like 16 to 17, it's going to take more than 20 percent of his health. Just get one more aftershock and, and the fight is done. So like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and it's going to be past 18 and the fight is done because 18 and 19 are like way good damage like cross 500, 5000 sorry and if there's like uh what's his name mystic champion so it cross like 7000 to 8000 damage so that is good and if I'm boosted it goes to 10,000 damage man quick is so good so what is going to be happening over here it's silver surfer uh, we have to do it with dr doom only so i'm gonna play it perfectly because at one point uh the last i think the first war like second war i did a mistake okay so let's do it perfectly what we're gonna do push him too hard to his sp2 we have pushed him hard towards his sp2 go for an sp1 now the more normally i don't go for it and he go for an sp3 normally or like if you don't go for an sp3 he never goes for an sp2 i just need to throw my sp1 or like take parries and go for a combo to an sp3 and then finish the fight off over here i think i might go i didn't go i should have gone for an sp3 the fight was done at this point but i didn't go for it now i go for it so he's at like 44 like 45 percent of his health what we have to do is go for an sp3 we go for an sp3 and sp3 is going to take chunk of his health dr doom damage is very high it's like 30 uh, percent it's done it's done we have to put in mediums and all the fight is simply done what i have to do go for one more sp1 i'm gonna go and he's gonna kill him i like dr doom very much he's doing quite good work this season for me in the war this iron man iron man's are always a difficult option over here he is such a great option to place over here so quick tip for you all just place your iron man infinity war max sig and put it over here so i just saw the status we were up on kills i put the defense kills and then i stopped the <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take this fight so it's a rage void so rage void i have never seen void on rage I don't think so. Void is a great option over here. 
Apocalypse is a good option over here. I've seen it. Nick Fury is also a good option on Rage. Um, quite good option on Rage and some. Of what I'm going to do is uh, put like a bigger boost because we have to take that Warlock. I have to quake him, so that's why I have to put a bigger boost. We put a health boost and we put 10% of uh, attack and health boost. So that 10% I have 10 now because I was stupid and buy them through glory store and I was like 1 lakh something and I'm like 60,000 now so that was like way bad I like 4 of these and 1 cost like 23,000 and that was bad so Archangel on Rage I didn't knew gonna work that well so let's see what happens over here we are like 50% of our health and he's 100 so normal routine that we do with Archangel just get that new rose in we got two new rose in the fury never comes up it comes up only one time i'm gonna take all that block hit i dex that i don't know why i dex that <laughs> but that was bad option I like four new rose taking 2000 something damage that was great only one new rose left four bleeds that was good i go for an sp2 one P fury pops up because i hit so hard i went in that's the normal thing that we do with him I dex that but that neuro was not up so that's why that instructable comes up what stubborn I don't know why I didn't go for one ba more step back but no debuffs are coming on to me because of that neuros you can see there was no debuff on to me I was like my combo was gone when he hits me with a heavy in the end but there was no neuro no no debuff not neuro, neuro. no debuff on to me so let's go this is going to be a showdown <laughs> this is going to be a great fight for us so what's over here it's like warlock stun immune or uh, hazard shift incinerate and poison so normal quaking he's not in stubborn champ so it's quite easy for us so quaking quaking and quaking one after shock and he's at 80 percent to like something health I cannot see the slow blurry for me so my damage is like I think so 5,000 like 4,000 the m more I put aftershock the more the damage comes up so you're like 10 11 and damage is like 4,000 okay. 11 it's 4,000 because I'm heavily boosted I could have gone for like a mutant uh, not a science boost so that would work way good but I went with like normal boost and the mutant boost is still up because we did the last fight with Archangel so no damage increase from that mutant boost. I was thinking that I need to go with ghost of these some fights but mm, ghost will not great over here on this or we took like some parries over here. Uh, the sometimes it's quite difficult whenever I quake because if the opponent is way aggressive then it's very difficult for me uh, the more and more they like comes towards me I need to text and put a heavy finger back up again and again and again so he's like is half health and one more aftershock we put in at this point and he like normally 35 or 30 percent of his health gonna be up now I'm gonna put one more aftershock 11 12 it's gonna go for five thousand four thousand five hundred so it's way good damage still that boost are putting so much work for me and yeah like two minutes into the fight and he's almost dead at this point i just saw towards the point like time i thought okay i might time out <laughs> oh this heavy was way good i didn't knew that i'm gonna do that <laughs> okay i did that and that connected oh that was good <laughs> one more aftershock is going to be in i thought that i would like one heavy or more but it's gonna get him towards the bar and that poison shift and all I'm gonna be way bad for me so this is going to be it for this war this war was so good I don't remember the number but it is it so I went into the boss section <laughs> boss fight and I saw it to the nodes so like it was aspect of evolution and brute force brute force gonna suck aspect of evolution never sucks so this is going to be it thanks for watching and like subscribe to my channel like to my videos and share with your landsmates so thanks for watching until then see you next time